founder has his speciality in the drone sector so i like to call upon the founder of z easter hello good evening good evening all uh, before uh, preaching there was one uh, grooming session mujhe bola gaya tha ki you have to look from the left of the corner all up to the right of the corner taki each and every investor get the eyes on us and we can give a we can have a very good eye contact with them so here we are presenting uh, semester innovation we are a motor design and manufacturing company uh, right now we have focus towards the emerging uh, sectors of the india as well as the world so right now we are manufacturing our motor for the so what exactly the drone industry is facing right now uh, is the problem of uh, eating issue into the motors uh, we have this heating issue by the means of heating the drone get uh, uh, destabilized and it might get crash so the segment we are working as of now is a very uh, commercial end segment which uh, starts from all up to 3 lakhs to goes all up to the crs uh, short flight time is again the issue considering the usage of the application of the drone uh third is india is a country where we have a full fledged uh, manufacturing facilities for the drone uh, in in any kind of components uh, but when it comes to the motor which is the heart we do not have any indian manufacturers as of now to supply the product and during the covid time uh, the drone industry of india has uh, failed uh, very badly because the import is coming from china majorly us and europe markets and last is the no after sales services even you are uh, getting a premium product for your uh, very high end commercial products so to eliminate this uh, we have provided our solution of invented softless vadc motor which is our proprietary product and we have introduced a seven different product and expanding uh, the four products which is in green it is already commercialized and the rest of the thing are in it to its alpha stage so with this uh, proprietary product what exactly is customer going to get so it is uh, eliminating the heating problem into the motor uh, by which we have provided the uh, turbo cooling feature into its uh, design uh, next uh, next is the uh, artificial cooling which is useful for the drones with the categories of uh, drone taxi agriculture drone as the delivery drones which is the future in the world market as well as the indian market uh, india have a different geography right we have the states like tripura himachal pradesh when there is a open and humid uh, atmosphere and we have the states like rajasthan and kutch as well when there is a bsf indian defense system and we have the border so to protect that uh, different uh, terrain of the india we have provided the dust and water resistivity features in our products and last is the improved flux ring which is again an engineering thing which increases the overall life of the motor so with this thing what exactly customer is getting in a lab customer is get the more 10% flight time so say for example is uh, average flight time in india is uh, 30 minutes then with our motor it would be uh, 33 minutes uh, which is uh, one minute is very crucial for the drone because drone can capture a very good data in very one minutes or uh, say for example uh, if we have a flight time of uh, 45 minutes then that drone can analyze the three hectares of the area within this 45 minutes and come back to us and give us the 100% analysis of that three hectares of the area so uh, next lemon benefit is uh, it's a first made in india products and when we have started we are the only one into the indian market Uh, so it will eliminate the supply chain issue being india uh, right now we have the only one dependency on the other country considering the lack of raw material availability in throughout the world uh, that is the neodymium which is only extracted from croatia and china uh, with our motor uh, overall with improved flux ring the total number of uh, flight by the motor would 20% increase say for example the average life of the motor would be 100 flights so with our motor it would be 120 flights and we are the not providing only the fixed motor solution to the clients we are also into customization of the motors so abhi india mein ye ho raha hai ki 
they are designing their drone according to what is available into the market which is not a product market fit in terms of it is not designed for the india it is designed for china it is designed for america it is designed for europe because they have their different terrain they have their fixed uh, uh, proposal of the use case they have their defense they are customizing the motors for their defense system as well but when it comes to india we also have the defense we also have the different geography we also need to get at the different markets so that's why the usb of the customization comes to a picture and lastly it's a for weather, weather utility uh, this is the market mapping uh, the drone motors market mapping uh, after two years back uh, there was no any such push uh, previous minister was uh, stuck into the documentation and all so the drone the whole drone market were uh, congested what to do what not to do and it was like the time frame for around uh, three to four years uh, the current minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya has laid down the, all the document assets. There is only six forms. You have to file it. You can become the drone manufacturers. You can get the compliances licenses. You have the test certification and you can fly your drones. So the projected uh, market of the drone in India is as of now 30,000 CR by 2026 within India. These are our few potential clients with us with whom we are working. Uh, with this, I would also like to say we are not only into drones motor, but we are also selling the BNDC technology because this motor is works with the BNDC technology. So with, with uh, technology transfer, we enable the existing motor manufacturers and we enable them with the new upgraded technology and we will completely handhold their manpower as well as design. So they can become self-reliant and they can also enter into a BRDC technology with a close, they will not enter into drones. Uh, these are the few pictures we have piloted with. Uh, recently, the, the quick pet third photo, uh, it was taken at the borderline of the area near Kashmir and it is right now deployed at uh, Amaranath Yatra. Uh, this is the competitive landscape looks like what I am talking about the players right now in market which are majorly playing hovering mad and deep motors. So we are into a, a, a better terms in terms of artificial cooling. The feature we have added as our proprietary pattern and it is more efficient than the what is available right now in India. Uh, this is a, a traction we have launched uh, for product uh, just last month after the three and a half years of R&D uh, during Bharat Drone also and uh, three products already in uh, Alpha state which is going to be uh, launched soon uh, and right now we are in the revenue generation stage in terms of technology transfer. We have already transferred a long term technology transfer with the clients of uh, 2.1 CR of the uh, so, we are looking for uh, 2.1 CR of the funding for our next 18 months of the projections with which we are uh, catering the different uh, drone manufacturers with the different application of the drone. This is we are utilizing the fund with the marketing, uh, manpower and the, some capex. Uh, I myself, founder and CEO of uh, Sinister Innovation with my co-founder Jaydeep, is handling the R&D part and the technology part. Uh, and we have a different board advisor with us, which are with us from the very beginning of the ideas stage of the company. They are grooming us for the business strategies, market analysis, business development and finance part and the operations. So, not limited to the not limiting ourselves to the being the drone motor manufacturers. As I say, we are the technologists and we are into the BNDC technology. So this is how our product roadmap, roadmap will look like from uh, drone to the glider, glider to the electric vehicle and the advanced robotics and then we'll go for the marine applications as well. With this, I would like to thank In, in, in terms of our price point, uh, our MRP uh, is neck-to-neck uh, uh, -neck with what is available in the market. You say, for example, hobbying and tea motors. But when we can go for the bulk purchase, uh, we are uh, 20 to 30 percent uh, costlier than the what is available in market. That, uh, there is an issue regarding the production capacity.
because they are in business for the last five to six years. So, so only you are manufacturing from uh, your main manufacturing plant or something, or you are also outsourcing some of the parts? Uh, so, a uh, few basic uh, manufacturing part is outsourced to the vendors, and the rest of the thing, design, QC, testing, it is all in house. And where do you see the like workflow? Like, what's your uh, future plan? Like, you showed about the gliders and all this. So, is it uh, like one year, two year, or what's the plan of this? Like, where do you see next two to three years? Uh, so, uh, the, the projection of the thing will enter into the uh, motor of that particular category. We will not build the drones, glider, bicycles, and. Yeah, so, it's basically will the RD for the motors. Yes, RD for motors. the motors, right. So it will basically work on R&D for different different products at each and every stage. And we'll stick to the motors only. Okay. So the average projection would be like uh, after uh, eight months, we'll go over to the electric vehicles. We have already developed, but it is in R&D phase. Okay. And every eight months, we'll introduce one more thing to the product portfolio. And what's your last month sales? <laughs> Sorry, sales of last month? Uh, so uh, it is uh, twenty thousand in terms of product. Okay. okay. And uh, talking about the overall revenue, how, what you have generated from last six months? Uh, so, uh, in term, we have the TT and we were generating the revenue from the technology transfer only as of now. We have launched the product last month, 15 to 20 days back. And what will be the gross margin on that? Uh, it is uh, all between 35% to 45%. And it will be only B2B? We are only in B2B, whether it is product, whether it is service. With uh, 2.1 C of fundraise, what is your projected turnover for next uh, what timeline? It will uh, last 12 months, 18 months, and then what are your projections for the next three years? That's my first question. And second question is uh, 2.1 C at what valuation? Uh, so we don't know utilize, the, we have bifurcated the utilizer, sir. Uh, so it will stay with us for the 18 months. It is an 18 month of process, and it will give us the 2.8 CR of the uh, income revenue. Uh, regarding to your second question, uh, we are very open for that because this is our first funding round. Uh, until and unless it is a bootstrap and uh, uh, helped by the government grants, so this is the, uh, this is our first round. So we are very open for the investor regarding the values. We are investors can judge us and they can offer. We are predefined that and we will mutually decide. Okay. And what is your strategy to uh, win this 2.8 CR turnover when you said that you had 20 25 percent expensive? So which way you will cover this market, get this business? So as of now, this projection is uh, pretty 100 uh, percent organic without the uh, get with the, without funding. So when funding comes in, we'll uh, procure the outsourcing parts in house, and we'll get our we'll reduce down the cost as well. So this uh, outsourcing can be in house in a, a number of manners. Like what we have planned is uh, outsourcing a partner and uh, getting his on board with us, not as a, a employee of the company, but as a, a third party vendor, but with it, our premises. So that's how it's going. They'll work as a partner, not as the employer. How much is the capex out of this 2.1 CR capital expenditure? Capital expenditure is all up to 60 lakhs. And uh, how many patents have you identified uh, with? So uh, this product contains one pattern. Uh, in total, we have filed 14 patents. Uh, as you told, uh, in terms of uh, different parameters. Uh, if you compare your model is better than uh, across world and different countries. So is there any international certifications you have? Uh, so as of now in India, we are working with, uh, uh, we are, so basically in lamb and drone industry is new for India. Okay. The test certification, we have the test certification for the vehicle, right? Pune based air edge certificate. For the drone, it's just come one week, one week back. But you cannot say right. You, you just no, no, it, right? Right? no, no. I am answering. So we do not. We have the test facility for drone only as of now. Component level complexes, manufacturing facility, testing facility will come into picture. And right now we are supporting government to build that infrastructure. Internationally, right now we are not going. Internationally, 
even there is international standard is not available. There is a, a RO, ROCX standard is there. We need to follow if we'll go for the European contract and see certification for the amendment. But for the next three years, we are not planning to go ahead. In the next question, like, is there any like a government subsidy currently available or like a different prospect from government? Yes, yes. Looking at the rapid demand in the pet sectors like mining and uh, like defense, right? So, uh, is there any subsidy which will like help your business? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, our, uh, we have invested. Uh, what we have invested in debt is uh, one third. Two third is invested by the government grants. Uh, right now, we are in the process with DRDO for the defense categories of roads for the grant. DRDO is a pretty much grant, so see us. But it will get there. Uh, one more thing I would like to add. Yes, there is a government in incentive scheme as well. Uh, it is called PLI scheme. So, what Sir was talking about in terms of uh, how we we'll beat the 20 to 30 percent of uh, margin on that part. So, we we'll, uh, sell out a product on uh, low stresses, we will uh, book a loss on that particular uh, sales. But there is a scheme, PLI scheme, if uh, company will turn over 50 lakhs plus, then intensive will come straight to the company. So, we'll, uh, we can marginalize that, and it is a very good grant to get it. So, we'll, we can even beat it right from the next year, when we'll be the uh, huge supplier, 1000 waters per month. Okay. Like in the discrete space, like there are so many companies which are like taking like, roads, like dead development. So are you approaching to them because markets are like you, as you said, you are the only one like, in India, you are like, uh, like uh, benefiting or protecting or things like that. So you have to approach to that uh, bigger companies, uh, they should try your product rather than importing. Yes, so the most of the drone manufacturers didn't show about us 20 days back. Now the old drone facility knows we are there. Uh, in Bacon, we were piloting with uh, very good uh, drone manufacturers, but we were not in the marketing, and we are not in the market that we are manufacturing. So our product is very different even before the launch. Right now we are piloting with uh, 10 plus drone manufacturers, and they are like media for the US. Thank you, thank you so much. So, what's your production capacity per day? So, as of now, uh, with our current capacity, it is 100 water per month. It is a precise thing, it is the, the mass value. Uh, with our channel partner, it is goes up to 500 water per month. Okay, and uh, how, how, how much fund will be required to increase that? Like, no, if you want to double that? that? Channel partner is already okay. with us. So we can order is we can increase the capacity. As per the order, we can increase that. So, let's say. Uh, per month, if uh, we are getting a 1000 motors of order, we can increase that. Increase that. Sure. Connect with Garuda. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you to the team.